because Cookie says this, I believed in once saved, always saved after hearing people defend it on YouTube. Now I'm confused, feeling like every time a person falls into sin, they are lost and ask for forgiveness and they are saved again if they sin again. And then uh, they commented again, I'm confused. Well, Cookie, I can understand why you're confused and I'm glad you're tuning in today. But no, um, we don't believe that every time you sin, you lose your salvation. But like we're, what we're talking about is the best way to illustrate this is to look at our relationship with God like a marriage. You know, the Bible illustrates um, our relationship with Him is similar to like a marriage covenant. And when you come into a covenant, you make an agreement to um, be faithful to one another. And now, if you're in a marriage, you know, I don't know if you're married, if you're a man or a woman. I'm guessing you're a woman if your name's Cookie, but, you know, it could be wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> um, but if, if you're married to somebody and you sin against your spouse, does that mean you're divorced? No. Could that lead to a divorce? Yes. And the, the point is, this isn't like a cut and dry mechanical thing. And, and that's, that's the thing that we need to kind of get away from. Like, well, if I sin... 465 times then I lose my salvation or if I can sin this many times and still be saved but if I sin this many times then I lose and that's one of the arguments against you know the idea that you can fall away from the faith no there isn't a set exactly. amount of times you can you can sin and like I said in my last video on repentance one sin persisted in and unrep and you did you don't turn from that sin can lead to you falling away from God but like the Bible says in the book of Revelation about the, the woman Jezebel in the book of Revelation, God gave her space to repent. And so what does that mean? God provided a time of grace for her in this sin that she was persisting in to turn away from that sin. So he, he wasn't like cutting her off right away. You're cut off, you're toast. He was giving her space to repent. And if she, if she did repent, she would come back into the fold. Um, she wouldn't fall away. And so that space obviously implies that God's not going to strike you dead. He's going to keep you alive, you know, so that you can repent of that sin. But if you persist in one sin, one sin can lead you to hell. But here's the thing that bothers me about this, because I don't know. I mean, Adam and Chip, do you guys ever sin? It happens sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it happens to me, too. Adam, you've sinned before, after you got saved, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and so here's what I do when I sin. I repent like as quick as I can, yeah. right? Um, yeah. And so that's what you should do. You shouldn't work. oh, I lost my salary. No, you should repent. Say, God, I'm sorry, I missed it, I need your help. Um, I need to make sure, yeah. if, you know, if you're not in church, you know, make the steps that you need to make to, to make to get that sin out of your life because if you persist in that one sin, you can be lost. Uh, but yeah, and, a million and you need sins to keep your eyes keep you out of the kingdom of God if you repent. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, there's like a little bit of a delay on here, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, just look at it as like you're walking on a path, right? Well, so what's, what you're asking, I, I think this is the wrong question to be asking. Like, I really do think this is just a bad question to be asking because what you're asking, for example, would you go to your boss Monday morning and say, hey, uh, I, you know, I'm just curious, how many times can I show up to work <laughs> drunk? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm not saying I That's will, good. but I'm just curious. How, how, so how many times before you fire me? He would look at you like you were crazy. Yeah. And likewise, if you were to ask your wife, you know, I'm just curious, how many times can I cheat on you before you, you know, before you leave me? I mean, th these are these are the wrong questions, guys. Listen, we need to be keeping our eyes focused on Jesus. It's so it's a path. We need to be walking in the light as he is in the light. And then it says in First John, and then the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So we need to be walking on the path. And, and if we if we take a step off the path, then guess what? Repent of that. Get back on the path. Okay. Keep following Jesus. If you if you go off into into sin and take a step off the path, then then get back in the light. Get back on the path. It's, it really is as simple as that. See, I, I think when people get so tripped up over it's that, simple. they're they're, That's they're kind of like. in a way taking their eyes off Jesus. And and you know we need to be just focused mm -hmm. on following Jesus with everything we got. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Can I say one and, one yeah. quick thing? Yeah. yeah. Pop in. Yeah. I think God judges the the thoughts and intents of the heart. So if we are um, if we are making that decision that we're going to be practicing sin, it's willful and knowledgeable. That is the path towards destruction, mm. you know. And 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 God will say, "Hey, turn from that. Hey, I don't approve of that." He will give us time to, you know, He'll give us that window, yeah, you know. And but we have a choice which way we go, um, and. 
this is one thing that people need to understand is like for us it's about we don't want to be practicing sin yeah you know like for example um i'm a musician but i don't i'm not a drummer yeah. okay i'm not a drummer but if someone saw me behind the kit and i'm kind of beating you know doing whatever i can and do and they say oh are you a drummer i would say no i'm not a drummer and they say like, but, but i mean you're right there playing the drums i'm like i know but i'm not a drummer why not because i don't practice the drums i don't consider myself to be a drummer right mm, but so it's like if i sin that doesn't mean that i have to be a sinner it means that I I can commit a sin without practicing sin, okay? So I can be someone that practices righteousness that that makes a mistake, that sins, and then I can get back on track, you know? Yeah, I think that's well, yeah, really and, and I, I think if, if if you're if you're walking in a sin and you haven't repented, you know, you're you're walking away from Jesus. And I think it's so important that you're you're not walking on the path anymore. You're starting to veer off course you're starting to walk in a different direction than jesus is going so so you know if you're con continuing down that path you're 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 severing yourself from christ you're you're walking outside of the light and you're going to stumble you're going to fall if you're not walking in the light you're not going to be able to see where you're going you're going to fall so uh you know just just basically turn turn back and don't don't keep walking in that sin because the bible says that you're walking away from jesus when you're walking you know in that sin. Yeah. yeah Proverbs absolutely. 24 16 it says for a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again but the wicked shall fall by calamity yeah, yeah. so so God is relating to us there are a lot of factors involved and we have to realize that it there's a relational dynamic there and he wants us to keep going he wants us to get back up he wants to clean us up and get us back on track that's exactly what he wants that's really good